So this film that you're going to see a bit of is not just about the Saxons, it's about the Mian Valley, the valley we live in, the valley of the River Mian. And its beauty, its landscapes, its heritage, its history, including the story of the Saxons. It is quite early and this started me looking around, this was 25 years ago we discovered this, and I then started looking around, now what else was there? And I found that I lived within 200 metres of some terrific historical uh, sites. Now here to show you today, we've got one of our larger aircraft and one of our smaller aircraft. This isn't the smallest one we have, and this isn't the largest one we have, but we use this one for most of our filming. Now the smaller one here, It's just as useful as the big one. It still carries a camera underneath, but only has four rotors. When we're flying an aircraft, we have to seek ground permission as well. And we have to have people around to actually keep members of the public away. So when we're filming in the public area, there's a lot of planning, a lot of safety involved. <laughs> Smooth to keep up with what the aircraft's doing. Okay. Now, as a fully licensed, authorised. Well, I think you can see already there are lots of people here tonight, and so there's a tremendous amount of interest in what is going on. People are interested in their neighbourhoods. Flora, fish, invertebrates, and wildlife. Butzer Hill, Old Winchester Hill, Beacon Hill in the north, and Titchfield Haven in the south are all nationally renowned wildlife nature reserves, enjoyed by residents and visitors alike. The Abbey at Titchfield was founded in 1222 and had oversight of the Saxon church at Corhampton. In 1537, Henry VIII enabled Thomas Risley to acquire the Abbey. He became Baron Titchfield and the first Earl of Southampton. The church at Meanstoke, dedicated to St Andrew, was built between 1223 and 1235, probably by the same masons who built the Great Hall at Winchester. It has a Welsh border-style tower made of wood. We've got a super DVD and it shows beautiful pictures of all the churches that St Wilfrid visited all the way up where he taught the Saxons. And they are really super. Well, I think, first of all, we want to achieve a recognition that this is a serious piece of work and that it establishes the western end of the South Downs National Park as a place to be and then we have the Saxons and uh, we don't know anything about that but now we do it's in the curriculum Key Stage 2 and this is going to be terrific support to the Key Stage 2 program. It's an amazing scenery to see and the history of the beautiful churches in each and every village and the way the community have come together in this venture and I just think it's absolutely wonderful. 